Now I'm pretty sure when you built a WordPress website, you've seen a layout very similar to what's on screen right now. Your typical post layout, which shows you a brief synopsis of the post, you can click and go and view more. But would you like to get more control over that so you can basically customize this to look pretty much any way you want and contain any information available in WordPress? Well, if you do this free, totally free plugin is going to be a great head start for you. So let's just jump into WordPress and let me show you how you can do all this right the way from scratch. My name is Paul C and welcome to WP Touch, the channel where I help you create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and smashing that bell icon below to be notified every time new content is added. So this plugin was recommended to me by one of our subscribers called Anthony Christian. So thank you very much, Anthony, for recommending this plugin. It's a great free plugin and it helps to sort of create a little bit more, should we say, bespoke aspect to your website. Now, if you've ever used Jet Engine, you'll know that you have the listings option in there, which basically allows you to create custom listings for the sort of WordPress loop. So the kind of thing that displays all of the posts that you create. And I love that. I think that's great. It allows a huge amount of flexibility when you want to design something a little different to what any kind of theme offers. Well, this is like a free alternative. Does it provide everything that the listing option in Jet Engine does? Well, not 100%, but it should have more than enough in there for pretty much everybody else that wants to just create something a little bit more unique. So let me just take you through and show you how you use it. It's very, very simple. So let's just come back into our site. Now, there's two steps to this. The first thing you need to do is create the layout for the actual post itself. So in other words, if we take a look at this, each one of these designs is taken from the loop template. And that's what we're going to create first, the loop template. Then we just simply create a page or a template and we use the post widget which pulls all the posts in and we just assign it to use this particular custom template as opposed to using the classic or the cards layout that is shipped with part of Elementor. So let me just show you how to do this. First of all, let's just jump over into the dashboard of WordPress. Once we're in there, the first thing we need to do is come over to Elementor itself. We're going to come down to the template section and in there we're going to go into the theme builder. Now, once you've installed the plugin, you're going to see you now have a new tab called loop. As you can see, I've already created a custom loop. So if I just jump into that just to show you what I've done, so I'll edit that with Elementor. Once we've opened up Elementor and that's loaded up, you'll see that there's the basic template that I've created. So you can see it fills the full width of the page. That's basically because we're just designing how this looks, all the component pieces. The size of this is dictated by the number of columns that we actually assign and the size of the page that we're working with. So we're just designing this layout. OK, so let's just come back out of this. Let me just delete this and I'll start afresh. So we're going to delete everything that's inside there. So we're going to click and we'll just delete everything. So all we need to do is click to create our new section. So we're going to create one row, one column. Once we've done that, we can now put whatever we want inside this particular section. So the first thing we're going to do is just set a background color. So we're going to set that, go into the style section, and we're going to set the background color for this to be white because I'm using a pale gray on the actual design itself. Next up, we're going to come over and we're simply going to drag in the elements that we want. So we're going to drag in an image. We'll just assign all the contents to this in a moment. Next up, we'll come back over to the widgets. We'll grab a heading, back over to the widgets. We'll grab a text editor. And finally, we'll come over and we'll grab a button. So these are the four components that make up the actual layout for our particular loop. So once we've done that, we just click on the image, the placeholder, click on dynamic. And this is the important thing. We have to click on dynamic to get access to this. We're going to assign this a post featured image. So once we've done that, you can see that pulls in the information. Now, if you don't see anything at this point, what you're going to need to do is come up to the little settings icon in the bottom left-hand corner of Elementor, click on there, come down to the preview settings, from there, choose post, and then what you can do once you've chosen that, this will have nothing in this. You can simply click in there, type in one or two letters for any of the names of the posts that you have on WordPress. It will then pull that in and you can simply hit apply and review or preview. And then that'll show you some information. So it makes the design process considerably easier. Okay, so let's come back over to this. We've assigned the basic image that we want to use, the featured image at the top. Next up, we need to go and select the actual text area for our heading and do the same thing again, dynamic. This time we're going to come down and we're going to find the post title. Same thing again for the third option. Dynamic. This time we want to use the post summary, so that'll just pull in the smaller version of the post content. And finally, we've got the button itself. So we're going to click on the button. We're going to set some styling on this. We're going to set this to be full width. 
I'm going to choose this to be an info so it assigns a color to it. For the link, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the dynamic and we're going to say we want the post URL. So that will automatically fill that out now with the link that will take us through to the actual post itself so we can view that. You can style this and do whatever you want. You know, you have, have tons of control over this. You can do anything you want with this. We're going to change the click here to read more. Once we've done that, let's just go through to the style section and let's just assign a little bit of styling to this. Let's just change the text. We'll set that to be uppercase and we'll just increase the letter spacing a little just to give it a bit more breathing space. Okay, come over to the text for the synopsis or the summary. I'm going to come into the, oops, I'm going to come into the text editor area. Again, we're just going to come into the typography, just adjusting the weight of this to make it a little less imposing. And the same again for the title itself. So jump over to style, simply change the color of that to this gray color and we'll just take the typography bump the size up a little bit and adjust the actual font weight. So there we go. We've styled those things. One final thing I want to do is just select all of this and we're going to come into the advanced. We're going to put a little bit of padding inside there and we're going to come down to the style section, go into border and we're simply going to put a border around this. So we're going to put solid border, set this to a pale, pale gray, set that to be one pixel wide and we'll put six pixels of border radius. Now you can't really see it on here at the moment, but this is more to do with when we actually have a couple of these together, it'll make it look a little nicer. One final thing, I want to make the image a link to the actual content itself, as well as the read more button. Now you can make any of these links, you simply click on it, you're going to come over, we're going to say link under the image section and say custom URL. Again, this opens up the option now for dynamic, so we can click on there, post URL. There's one final thing I want to do just to make this look a little bit cooler. And select the image again, make sure that's active, come to the style section. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the hover state and we're going to apply a CSS filter. We're going to click on there and we're going to say we want to desaturate this image. We're going to make it black and white on mouse over. And what we're going to do is we're going to set a transition duration of around a half a second. So you'll see when we take our mouse over, it gives us the visual feedback to say that something is happening. This makes it a link. We'll hit update on there. Now you might get asked for conditions. So if you do get asked for display conditions the first time you create this, you can simply come in and what I've done for this is say archives, all archives. It doesn't really matter too much because we are just going to pull this in into a specific page anyway. So let's just save and close on that. So once we've done that, we've now created our loop template. So this is basically what one of those entries is going to look like. So now we can move on to the second stage. So let's come back out of this. We've created everything we need inside there. We're going to come to our pages. Now I've already created a page and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to that post loop page. This is just named anything and we're going to edit that with Elementor and we're going to put in our new post loop. So I've already gone ahead and created the actual page layout that I want. All we need to do now is put our new custom post loop in. So this is the area that I want to place it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this under the left hand side and we're going to look for post. And what we want is basically we want the posts section. We're going to drag and drop that into the area that I want. You can see that now pulls the relevant information in using, as you can see at the moment, the classic skin. So this is just using the default look and layout. So we can change any of the settings on there. But if we want to access our new custom loop layout, all we need to do is come into the skin section, click, and you can see we now have a third option called custom. We click on there, it now says select a template, and there's our custom loop template that we created inside Elementor. So we're going to click on that, and you can see that now immediately pulls in our designs straight into this and we can now go through and make any changes we want. So we can say we only want to have three posts per page. We can say we want to set this to be two posts wide and you can see because of the way we've styled everything, it now adjusts automatically, which looks great. You can see when you mouse over, it gives us that hover effect. So we've now created a fully customized loop layout, which we can now create any layout we want and easily assign that to any page or any template that we want using the normal post tools. So we can query against this. Once we create this loop, doesn't matter what content we want to pull in from there, any of the posts, we can do that and then query it. If we want to add pagination, we can simply come in, add that in there, and as you can see, that'll immediately place it underneath, and we have a pagination which we can now go ahead and style. So it's incredibly simple to use, but it opens up a whole ton of possibilities. So thank you very much, Anthony, for bringing this to my attention. I think it's a great plugin, totally free, and opens up a ton of creative options for everybody.
Well, that's what I wanted to show you in this video. What do you think of this? Is this something you could see yourself using in projects? If you can, or if you already have, share those in the comment section below. I'd love to see the kind of things you guys are creating. Opens up some great creative possibilities, and I love seeing all the projects that you work on. As always, I'd love to get your feedback on this and anything we cover on the channel in the comment section below. Speak in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But let me know in those comments what you did or didn't like about the video. Helps me create better content for you moving forward. As always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.